This case was brought to you by Clinic, where you could get access to new medical multiple choice questions every week. Learn more at medschool.com slash clinic. A 36-year-old female with a past medical history of migraines and polycystic kidney disease presents to your clinic with a sudden onset headache that started approximately one hour ago. She tells you that, although she has a history of suffering from migraine headaches, her current headache is more severe than her typical migraines. On exam, her vitals are normal, but she appears uncomfortable. She complains that bright lights in your office are bothering her, and that loud sounds also make the headache worse. What's the likely diagnosis? The correct answer is subarachnoid hemorrhage. This question provides a few clinical clues that might lead you to the diagnosis of a subarachnoid hemorrhage based on signs and symptoms. In this case, the patient presents with some classic features of a subarachnoid hemorrhage, including sudden onset headache, also referred to as a thunderclap headache, sometimes being described as the worst headache of their life. People also might complain of photophobia, phonophobia, neck pain or stiffness, and pain with eye movement. The patient in this case has a history of polycystic kidney disease, which is a risk factor for aneurysms, which can rupture, causing this patient subarachnoid hemorrhage and symptoms. Other connective tissue disorders also predispose patients to subarachnoid hemorrhages, such as in Marfan syndrome, fibromuscular dysplasia, and in cases of coarctation of the aorta. Keep in mind that although these previously mentioned signs, symptoms, and historical features are classic for subarachnoid hemorrhage, the diagnosis is often made and confirmed with direct evaluation for blood within the subarachnoid space. This includes obtaining a non-contrast CT scan of the head like you see here, and sometimes a lumbar puncture, where the presence of xanthochromia in the appropriate clinical setting can be diagnostic. Although this patient has a history of migraines, she describes the headache as having a different quality and being more severe than her usual migraines, which should increase your suspicion for another cause. Also, patients with a long-term history of migraines or headaches are often well accustomed to how their headaches present and classically complain of a unilateral throbbing headache with a gradual onset, as opposed to the sudden onset characteristic classically seen in subarachnoid hemorrhages. The immediate management of these patients includes first, maintaining an adequate airway, in severe cases, patients who have suffered subarachnoid hemorrhages can become so obtunded that there becomes a risk for aspiration. Further management includes monitoring and augmenting blood pressure if needed, and ultimately neurosurgical evaluation and intervention. Patients with idiopathic intracranial hypertension, previously known as pseudotumor cerebri, also present with a gradual onset headache and are classically seen in young females with a strong association in patients who are obese. Tension headaches and cluster headaches also typically do not present suddenly. Tension headaches are usually diffuse, squeezing, and triggered by stress, whereas cluster headaches are usually described as unilateral, sharp, and stabbing. If you like this case and enjoy medical cases like this one, check out Clinic, which is our new subscription-based web application, where each week we present you with new clinical encounters and multiple choice questions based on a variety of medical pathology from common disorders to the rarest diseases. Each week, your digital clinic is loaded with brand new cases, which are carefully crafted by our team members, exposing you to medical pathology you otherwise might not have had a chance to see or learn about at school or in your clinical practice. Subscribing to the Clinic app is also a great way to support this channel, allowing us to keep creating great medical educational videos, interactive software, and more medical cases like this one, for free on YouTube or at an affordable price on our website. But if you don't feel strongly about supporting us this way, that's okay. We still would like to show our appreciation to everyone who has continued to show their support for this channel over the years. And as a token of our appreciation, we've created a free collection of medical cases that you can access on our website. Just sign up for our free med school account by visiting the link in the description below. After you've successfully registered, you'll be redirected to the free collection landing page where you could add the collection to your account. And from here, you could immediately start testing your medical knowledge with the various clinical encounters found in this collection. You'll also have unlimited access to this collection, so you can repeat and attempt these cases as many times as you would like, forever.